It was on the long journey on the great ship to Chin that matters had changed between us. Thrust into constant companionship, Bao and I had become friends, then lovers. I'd caught a glimpse of the complicated knot of pride, stubbornness, and romantic yearning that lay behind his insouciant exterior. And Bao... I don't know what Bao felt for me, not really. Out of bed, we were always a little bit guarded with one another, neither of us certain how much our relationship owed to convenience, proximity, and Master Lowe's unsubtle encouragement. If things had fallen out otherwise, it might have been different. But once we reached Shuntian, the imprisoned dragon's jealousy had come between us, forcing us to be circumspect in our behaviour. Later, we had said to one another, later. Over and over, in stolen moments throughout our long quest, we said this to one another. When this is all over, if we live through it, we will talk. Later. A lump rose to my throat, forcing me to swallow hard. My hands trembled on the reins. There had been no later, because Bao had died. It was a moment etched in my memory. The captured sorcerer black sleeve, turning in a graceful, unrepentant arc, the deadly sleeve of his robe flaring wide, a spray of poisoned darts. The dragon's helpless roar. Bao whirling, his broken staff in two pieces in his hands, intercepting the barrage. Bao dying. One dart, a single dart, had gotten past him, had pierced his throat beneath the chiselled angle of his jaw. It had been enough. I breathed the breath of ocean's rolling waves, the most calming of all the five styles. I let the memories wash over me. I should have known. Of course I should have known. Master Lo had as good as told me. Today I realise I have lived too long, he said. Emperor Ju had known what he meant. For the first and only time, Master Lo had asked me to share my gift with him, his dark eyes grave and anguished. Are you willing to give a part of yourself that my magpie might live? I remembered my frantic reply. Anything! I should have known, but I didn't. When Master Lo Feng placed his hands on Bao's unmoving chest, I laid my hands over his and poured my energy into him until I felt myself begin to fade and go away, until I saw the stone doorway that represents the portal into the afterlife for the folk of the Maquin John. For a moment I thought I would pass through it, and the thought was not unwelcome. Then my dear Arnhem blazed and doubled, waking inside Bao. Bao came to life with a startled shout, thrust out the realms of death. Master Lo passed from it peacefully, his chin sinking to his chest, his eyes closing forever. What would I have done if I had known, if I had grasped what should have been obvious? I cannot say, and in truth it does not matter. What was done is done.'